What's going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. So in almost every video that I do, people say, you don't know what you're talking about. That stuff is junk. It's garbage. It's worthless. No one's ever going to pay for that. I get that all the time. So I'm going to show you some of the junk that I sold this weekend for $1,054.72. This is 14 items that sold. It was a good weekend, and I will add it was a three-day weekend because Monday was Martin Luther King Day, so the post office was closed. So this is over the course of three days. Here are some of my sales. Let's start on the top. This JB Weld Water Weld. I sold six of them. It was one listing for the quantity of six. I've had these things for a while. I don't remember where I got them. They sold for $39. 99 i think i have one or two more lots of six left on ebay they sat for at least six months i don't remember where i got them they were likely either on the six pallets of, of target product that you saw in a video earlier this year or the seven pallets of amazon i don't really remember to be honest but if it wasn't one of those loads you would have seen it on the video next i sold these two iPhone chargers. They are Black Web, which is a Walmart house brand. I got $9.99 each, so a total of $19.98. It was a single buyer who bought them, and these were the last two. I had, if I remember correctly, 18 of them. They came on the most recent pallet of electronics returns. You recall seeing a bunch of cordless phones and DVD players and stuff like this. These were actually new. I don't know. They must have just had overstock and got rid of a bunch of them, but I got 18 of them. These are the last two that sold. All of them sold for $9.99. So these sold for $9.98 or $19.98 for the pair. Next, let me get my list up here. Right here, a Cobra handset, a microphone for a CB radio. This is new open box. This did come on the seven pallets of Amazon stuff. I thought it was going to be worth more until I looked it up. I listed it a while back, finally sold. This is one of the last items left from the seven pallets of Amazon stuff. I made a ton of money on that. I made a few thousand dollars profit. I also had a video from that go viral, which made me a lot of money as well. That's never happened before. I wouldn't mind if that happened again. This sold for 20 bucks, free shipping. Not a whole lot. I'll probably walk with about 10, 8, 10, 10 to 12 dollars after shipping and fees, it is pretty light. Might go first class, it'll be right on the cusp between first class and priority. I probably, had I looked this up earlier, would have just thrown it in with the CB radio that I sold. There was actually a CB radio and all that stuff that I sold for some 400 bucks, somewhere in that range. Uh, I probably would have just thrown it in with that, but unfortunately, I listed that first. So this finally sold 20 bucks. I'm happy with it. It gets it out of my hair. Speaking of things I'm happy to get rid of, this is gummed tape. This goes in the fancy tape dispensers that the big Amazon guys like to use. I sold three rolls of it. This is probably one of the oldest things in my eBay store. Oldest is in the longest listed. This stuff, I am assuming I got from a Staples load in 2016. When I first started selling on eBay, this was one of the things that I listed. And it finally sold. I got 20 bucks, I believe. Let me double check. This is something that I'm just happy to get rid of. I got $19.99 free shipping. It's probably going to cost me 12 bucks to ship this. I wonder if I can see how far away it's going. I'll get a better idea on shipping. It is going to Maryland. So, you know, it was going decent ways. about halfway across the country. So it'll probably cost me about 12 bucks or so to ship them. I'm just happy to get rid of them. I'm not making any money on them, but they're gone. They're out the door. Next, we've got this Apple. It's stuck under the tape. This Apple modem. This sold pretty quick. Apple stuff. Always look for it. I got 40 bucks for this. I took a best offer. $40 on free shipping. It'll just go first class. It's really light. It cost me about 3 bucks to ship. It sold really quick. I paid $60 for this and a whole bundle of electronics. Within the first day, I sold $200 worth out of that $60 in electronics. So I've got nothing invested in it. It sold very quickly within a couple couple of days. 40 bucks for that. Next, if you watch my videos regularly, you saw yesterday I posted 
the Bolo, be on the lookout for vintage razors. I've got two of them here. They are gross. I mean, look at this. I can't see the screen, so I don't know if it's focusing. Maybe you can see this. Maybe you can just see my wrist. I have no idea. It is gross. This one sold for $20. This one, in a little better shape, sold for $25. Look out for vintage razors. If you want more information on that, go back a video and look at the video where I tell you to look for vintage razors. Next, we've got some remotes. This one is a Sony AV remote. A little disappointed in this one. It sold for $10. Let me double check. Uh, so now I gotta go back because I was looking at the address. This sold for $9.99. I paid $2 for it. It did sell pretty quick. After shipping and fees, I'll walk away with about $6. So turning two into six, I suppose, isn't bad. Not ideal. I didn't look this up when I bought it. I saw it was $2. It's a brand name remote for an AV system. That's always, well, usually good. Oftentimes, a brand name remote for an AV system, we're talking Sony, Pioneer, Denon, Marantz, so on and so forth, will sell upwards of $30, $40, even $50. Sometimes several hundred, but rarely. So I thought this was going to be good. Well, I looked it up, it wasn't worth much. I listed it, it sold within a couple of days, 10 bucks, I'll walk away with six, so at least I'm not losing money. I get a lot of comments about how I toss my stuff. My hand, when I dropped it in that box, was about two feet off the ground. The remote will survive, it just sounds extra loud on the video. Here's a Panasonic TV remote, also cheap sale, $8.80. The reason I'm selling these, I bought on eBay a while ago, I bought a lot of 50 of these remotes. I'm guessing it was like a hotel that bought TVs and then they got rid of all the remotes and used their universal remotes. That's my best guess. But I had I bought 50 of these for somewhere around, I don't know, 100 bucks or so. My intent was to sell them on Amazon. Well, if you've been following me for a while, Amazon gave me the boot. I ended up giving my account back, but I was not going to list, list risky items like this. So they ended up sitting in a death pile for about a year until they were finally listed on eBay. I sold through all of them at $8.80 each, about five bucks, four bucks or so after fees on each one. They were selling pretty quick, about one or two a day. This one was left over. I always undercut my total number. If I had 50, I probably listed like 47, just so there'd be a couple left over if I need to send a replacement or something got damaged or something like that. So I just relisted this the other day, the last one, and it sold pretty quick. I don't, I don't know, a couple days. This is a unique remote. Always look for remotes, especially if they're different. I'm gonna get up a little closer so you can see this one. Notice all the letters. This is actually for an LED electronic sign. So you can type out what you want the sign to say. Nowadays, that's all done on the computer, but it used to be with remotes. Uh, this came in like a bundle of miscellaneous electronics a while ago. It's now worth a ton, so it sat in my death pile. Finally listed it. A few days later, it sold $16.99. Again, it will ship first class. Nice and easy. So that's the cheap stuff. Let me show you the exciting things. This is a phone. Cisco IP phone. I don't know if it works. I didn't test it. To charge it, you need a special dock, which is like 20 bucks. So I sold this as is untested for parts of repair. My wording was something along the lines of, we did not test this, so we're assuming the worst and selling it for parts of repair. It sold for $79.99, I got 80 bucks for it. Yes, I could have ordered the charger for like 25 bucks, charged it up, tested it out, and in two weeks, gone out and listed it, and maybe got more. But, I paid three bucks for it. It sold an hour after I listed it. I'll happily turn $3 into 80 if it sells instantly. You don't need to sit on it. I'm all about the fast nickel over the slow dime. Similarly, I've got two more bags of those similar phones. A slightly, I don't know if it's older or cheaper model, but it looks like this. These were much worse. These are incredibly beat up, incredibly beat up. Now let me see if I can find the really bad ones. Here's one right here. And it's stuck in the bag right here. You can see half the front is missing. This is just the buttons right here. Half the front is missing on this. None of these had batteries. I think there might have been one or two batteries, but these are in really 
rough shape. There's another one. Let's see. Maybe it was this one. One of these looks like a dog chewed it up. Here we go. This one here. Look at this. Looks like a dog chewed it up. That really looks like it was chewed up. This looks like just significant damage. I'm guessing a dog chewed it up. I sold a lot of three of them. Again, as is, untested, really beat up condition, presumed defective, no batteries. I sold that, no chargers, nothing else. I sold a lot of three of them for $109.99. Sorry, $199.99, 200 bucks. And then I sold a lot of four for $225. Both of those went to the same person. My guess is it's somebody who refurbishes these. There was Their username was something along the lines of phones or something like that. Uh, so that's my guess as to where these are going. I'm okay with that. Again, I paid $3 each with these. So that's, what, $7 turned into $425 bucks, minus fees, minus shipping. Because it is $425, I will get signature confirmation and insurance, even though they're already broken insurance as if it goes missing or something like that. So it'll probably cost me about 25 bucks to ship these. Um, so what did I say? 425. So there's 400. Then subtract another 50, 60 bucks for fees. So we're talking about $350 um, minus what I paid, 21 bucks, 300 and probably about 320 or $330 profit. They sold within a couple hours of listing. Can't go wrong. So just because it's broken doesn't mean it's junk, doesn't mean it's garbage. Even this, it looks like old phones. They are IP phones, which is over my head. I, I don't even know what that means. Somebody in here will probably comment and explain what it means. Now, lastly, another exciting one. This is the last, certainly not the least, this thing. This is a docking station for like the PDA scanners that they use in retail stores. I sold six of these. I had six of them. Someone bought all of them. For $330 plus free shipping. It is some weight. The power adapters are these big, heavy blocks. This thing is probably going to cost $30, maybe $40 to ship. But that's okay because I got these for free. And they sold for $330. Bucks. Let me see how far it's going. I can get a better idea on shipping. Now, these came out of Toys R Us. I bought all of their, their handsets that they use. It's going to also Maryland. I bought all of their handsets that these are meant to charge. And I still haven't sold them. They're still listed. I'm going to end up probably lighting them together and just dump them to get rid of them. I paid like 10 bucks each for them. After the store had closed, these were still available. And I asked them, hey, can I have those? They're like, sure. And they just gave them to me. So they were listed. I mostly wanted them just for testing, but I did end up listing them and everything. They all sold to one buyer. Toys R Us closed June 30th, I believe was their last day. Today is January 22nd. So, you know, you're looking at about six, seven months or so. I don't know when I listed them. I know I didn't list them right away. So probably four months before they sold. But how many people watch my videos? If I said, I'm gonna sell six of these for $330. How many comments do you think I would get that call me an idiot, say these are junk, I'm delusional, I price stuff too high in the videos? It sells. That's the thing, this type of tech, even if it's dated old tech, it sells, people buy it. If you were to go buy this from, I think it's Motorola, who makes it a Motorola symbol. If you were to go buy this from Motorola, you would probably spend 300 bucks on one of them. That stuff sells. So that is what I sold today, 14 sales. Obviously this alone is six items sold, but it's 14 total sales over the three day weekend, Martin Luther King day, that, that, that's it. So, I mean, if you want to do this business, it's not hard. Watch the videos. You see what sells. You're probably not going to find this exact thing. But now you know that this is the type of item, docking stations, worth looking for. That is why I do these videos. So look, keep looking for that stuff. Remotes and new items and weird Cisco phones and gummed tape. Well, don't buy gum tape because that I'm not making any money on that. I'm just happy to get rid of it. But you see what sells, you see what does well, you see what to look for. A lot of people say it's junk, but that's why we do it. Because most thrift stores, they have this, they think it's junk, they sell it for $1.99, but we can make a lot of money on it. So keep on selling junk, keep on making a ton of money on junk, because I'm going to.
Don't listen to what the haters say. Buy the junk, sell the junk. See you guys in the next one.